Do you know that you can make memory games using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS? In this tutorial video, we will make a simple memory game. I shared the source code of the project on the Turtle Code GitHub account. You can learn how the projects are done in detail by watching the videos on the YouTube channel. After transferring the project in the GitHub account to the computer, I will explain how it is done in detail. We will use the clone feature in Visual Studio for the transfer process. I shared the address of the project in the description of the video. Copy the project address. I will start the transfer process by using the copied address in the clone feature. I need to create a folder for the project. I complete the transfer process by selecting the open option. The project in GitHub has been transferred to the computer. If you have any question about this, let them know in the comment section of the video. I will reply within 24 hours. Let's start by examining the HTML code file first. I set a title for the project using the keyword title in the HTML file. I synchronize the CSS file with the HTML file using the link keyword. I synchronize the JavaScript file with the HTML file using the script keyword. I created a header object in the body section. Thanks to this object, I will inform the user about the game. I created a class called grid for the playground. I have specified the dimensions of the playground in the CSS code file. I have completed the display and flex settings according to by default value. We will design the pictures we will add to the playground according to the size of the playground. Let's start by examining the JavaScript file. I created an array object in the JavaScript file. I added all the images in the images folder in the project to the array object I created. I want to show you all the pictures in the project. First of all, the project will start with blank pictures. Then the actual image will be shown to the user when each blank object is clicked. If the two selected images match, the wild image will be displayed to the user. The game will be complete after all the images are synchronized with the white image. All images are synchronized with the array object. I need some variables to able to the project. For example, I need the images to be repositioned continuously every time in the game restarts. To do this, I will use the random function in the math library. I synchronize the result text by creating variables to inform the playground and the player when the game is over. I can control two objects with these variables. I synchronize the selected card and ID attribute with a variable. If two different objects selected by the user are the same, I will save them in the cards one object. In this way, I will know whether the game is over or not. I will query with these variables whether the card selected by the user match or not. I create a function to create the playground. I inserted a blank image using the for loop. I assigned a value to each added image using the set attribute function. I will create a function called Philip card to show the back side of the card to the user whenever the object is clicked. Each added card object was transferred to the grid object with the append child function. I want to show you the blank picture again. We place this picture on 12 objects with the for loop. I need a function to check if two objects selected on top of each other by the user are the same objects. I save all the cards object in the project, the first and second object selected by the user, into the variables. I don't want the user to click on the same object over and over. Therefore, if the first and second objects selected by the user are the same, I published a message using the alert function, indicating that the objects selected by the user are the same. If the user selected two different objects and the font same images, I replace the first and second images with the white image. Afterwards, I no longer want an action to occur when the user clicks on the white images. 
I use the remove function to achieve this. Then I set the selected card to the card form function. Using the number of members of the cards form object, we can find out if the game is over. If two different objects selected by the user are not same image, I synchronize it with the blank image and send a message to the user stating this. If half of the cards in the game are equal to the number of elements of the cards one object, the game is complete. I shove the user a message stating this. I have created a function to shove the image plays on its back side to the user when the user clicks on a blank object. When the user selects the picture, the selected picture and its ID were saved to the object using the push function. Then it will be checked whether the object selected with the above functions match. If the selected card is 2, I run the check for match function to check its match. The game will continue 500 milliseconds after the function checks the match. Finally, I started a project using the playground creation function. I explained all the calls of the object in detail. If you have any questions, let them know in the comments. You can support us by following the YouTube channel and learn how the projects are done in detail.